Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Euro got trashed last night, 10 p.m. Broke through the fig, uh, all the way down to 64. We took profit on our core short euro and our core short euro yen. Um, there's a 115. There's 1.5 billion uh, expiring at 115 tomorrow. So we might see some delta trading around this 115 until then. Also took profit on our dollar rand. This thing exploded through 44. So that was good. Uh, we were kept busy overnight with Aussie yen. Broke 30. Now trading at 04. Um, this is just core short from here. We think this has some more, more to go. We're going to try and resell some Euro Yen uh, up near sort of 60 maybe, uh, if we can. But we're square in that. So really we're just managing this Aussie Yen. And also, uh, busy night in Spoos. Did not make a new high in the S&Ps. Big long wick, tail, whatever you want to call it. And now we're through the trend line. Staring directly uh, at uh, 2907, which is um, going to be huge. So, short S&Ps. As far as new uh, trades going into today, the charts are a little bit messy now. This sterling in is somewhat interesting, even though I'm just staying away from sterling these days. Um, Prices below 147, the figure, uh, are interesting technically. Of course, the problem with uh, any sterling trade is, any short sterling trade is, uh, you have uh, the risk of some headline bomb, you know, snapping your neck. So, 147 is the bull bear sort of line. Below that, you want to be short. Um, but good luck with that. I think we're going to just avoid that today. Dollar Swiss. Again, we don't have a dog in this fight, but uh, certainly looks like we're going to test this 10065 very soon. Um, just got to wait patiently and be ready because prices up through that uh, are going to lead to. Uh, very strong appreciation of dollar Swiss. Finally, dollar CAD. We did break above this 50 area. We talked about this. I said the whole world is selling at 50, and they did. You can see it in the hourlies. All the sellers were here, but once they got filled in, now the market's all short. And I don't know. I guess you know, I think they're just over emphasizing good NAFTA. Rates are screaming higher in America, so this is this is going to drive the effects, right? 10-year yield is now 320. 30-year is 331. Dollar is going to remain bid, so you want to be tradable long on your dollars. Core short Aussie yen short stocks. Good luck, people.